Hello everyone, welcome back to From the Depths. We've got hostiles on approach. We've got our little boat here that I've managed to build an AI version of in the meanwhile. I'm gonna let it go. And now that we have an AI version, we're gonna build a few of those. And then we can have the AI do everything for me, which is the best way to do things really. Call it the Missile Boat AI because I am terrible at names. I think we'll just build one or two maybe and then we can hop into battle. After we are done getting those ships built and defending our base once again, we will probably be going on the offense, capturing some territory, maybe even taking out the Sinner's outpost over here. But that will remain to be seen. It all depends on how nice the Deepwater Guard are willing to play with us. Well, you're done now, right? Yeah, okay. Good. That means we've got a second boat ready. Select it on the map. There we go. Vehicle go over there. It's still on the fleet, isn't it? There we go. Get in a separate fleet. And you can start moving now. Another one of those. I'm gonna push you out of the way if I have to. There we go. I think we'll be... We'll have plenty with just three boats for now. So once we have those, we will... Probably engage. I mean, we've got the sinner's luck as well. So really, we should be good. Split off yet again. Just select all the things, really. And select starting fortress. And then... I was gonna say merge, but no, apparently they're starting the battle now. That's fine, we'll engage them first. Just checking to make sure that I didn't add anything unrequired to the battle. There we go. We've got the fortress, we've got all our ships. We're up against an atlas. Uh, we're up against a pair of atlases. That is going to be annoying. But there we go. We've lost one missile boat already. Jesus Christ! Please tell me that they are at least moving. Yep, one of them has been destroyed already. Hopefully we could have salvaged at least some of those resources. Ah uh, yes, they are moving, thankfully. That Atlas seems to be having a lot of trouble. The other one is in the water as well, which is great. And that one has decided to go smack the island. We might have to pull off another boarding action. Oh, there we go, one of them is coming around. Seems to be doing fine health-wise now. Oh, that Atlas just took a big hit. There we go. Sinner's Luck is doing some heavy damage as well.
poor missile boat there is dead in the water. Come on, can I get on board? Uh, yep, yes I can. As we lose our second missile boat over there. Where do you keep your AI? Let's get rid of these balloon deployers. No. Next up, those rotors, if possible. There we go. Level up, that's great. Managed to level this out somewhat. Make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. That first. Yeah, this is a somewhat dangerous place to be. Surprisingly. Oh, we can use that hole to get underwater. Well, why bother shooting the whole gun when you could just put it out of action by taking out the AI? And then taking out the turret rotation block. Gonna lose our final missile AI boat. Yep, there we go, it's too damaged. This Atlas is taken off. Without me is not allowed. Well, I say take off. Let's take out some of his engine power. Looks like falling apart. Yep. Well, we're salvaging now, which is great. We are down all the missile boats, unfortunately. There's a lot of mines in the water from the Sinner's luck. There we go, we're on the land for a minute. Atlas is still stuck in the water, which is good. We might be able to get on board and maybe capture it if possible. Right now we've got the fortress being super helpful, targeting the island and firing directly through it. Unfortunately. At least I can hear myself think now, that's great. Right until we get close enough to that other Atlas. Trying to leave. Let's fire some warning shots in this general direction. Yes. That'll have him running for cover. They don't seem to be climbing out of the water, which is good. Oh, they just took a major hit there. Where's your AI? Things like that. But first, get rid of these balloon deployers. Make sure we aren't going anywhere. You keep your AI in here, perhaps? Oh, that's resources. Oh, crap. That looks like AI. There we go. We got it. And now we have an atlas, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to pull it out of play. Start repairing it.
I mean, I guess we can repair the missile boats. Gonna try and... There we go, merge that as a single fleet. Start repairs. Uh, why not? I'll turn on repairs myself. Oh. I pulled the forces out of play. That was not what I meant to do. I simply wanted to warp to it. There we go. Oh, we have once again survived another battle. We might have some fun with that atlas, but... Once we have this fleet repaired, we will be going on the offensive, yeah. In fact, they are already repaired. We're going to be sending them out to that territory over there. Because the map is divided in grids, and every grid has a defensive oh, uh, fleet in there. There we go, words. Atlas is fully repaired. We'll be sending that to the other... In the other zone of control, basically. We're gonna pull everything out of play. We're gonna speed up to 10 times speed, and then we're gonna see which fleet will arrive in the battle zone first. I have some good feelings about this. That Atlas. Probably gonna be a monster. There we go, 8th Airborne. Got a Marauder. Uh, purely a Marauder, I guess. Which is fine. I'm gonna warp on board. Follow the battle. Let's see how the Atlas does against the Marauder. They've got a block count advantage, but that doesn't say anything. Do the smart thing and get out of the control area. Oh god, we are now stuck against the wall. Brilliant. Come on. Yep, we are completely stuck without any possibility of getting loose. Uh, oh, we are firing, however. That shell looks like it's going to space. Almost. That is actually rather accurate. Oh, we've got our first hit. Oh, there we go, another one. We put some holes in the deck, but not much else. But then again, they don't have the ability to open fire right now, so... That's good. We are handing it out, and we're not taking any of it right now. We're only gonna get more accurate if we get closer. Oh, there we go, I've managed to... Break loose for a second. Just for a second, though. There we go, we've managed to get below there. So we can actually take a look from the deck and see what is happening. That is rather loud. But as we can clearly see, the Marauder is down to 99% hit points, yeah! Looks like we might have to go for a risky boarding action. Oh crap. That is AI. And by god is it lethal. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. We needed to sort of be on there. Well, it's good to know that they finally put AI on board to defend against boarding actions. Yep. But you, 
clearly need is to get stuck in the water or something. So many explosives being thrown this way. Aha! We have managed to secure a position on board this vessel. That bucket of bolts is gone. Oh, there he is! I think he's dead. I'm just gonna make sure. There we go. AI sailing that oh yeah we died again no oh, come on come on ah oh. it's impossible to spawn on the actual atlas Jesus Christ good thing they're not act those cannons don't have to reach yeah we might keep that atlas around for a little bit more fun I like where this is going Go, open fire. Board them like the scoundrels that we are. Sea dogs and all that. Oh, that's that's ammo. And ammo is explosive. Almost. Don't want to get too close. There we go. That did some damage. Now we're going to get in there. Do some more damage. Oh god. Physics. Ouch. Aha. We have found the AI. Which was rather predictable, let's face it. Captured! We now have a Marauder as well! And we are probably gonna bring that back to base and scrap it. Yes, we're gonna pull the Atlas back since it needs fuel. Just in time to head over to our other fleet with the sinner's luck and see how she will fare in her trial of combat. We can actually engage the sinner's outpost from here, but I'd rather not. Oh, there we go. 15th exploration team. We're going to be fighting another marauder up here with our fleet. Got our missile boats. Not sure where the fourth one is. Oh, there we go. It was just in the ship. Unfortunately. That is not how you missile. That is how to torpedo. Jesus. We're gonna have to have to talk again. Well, it's fine, our missiles will get more accurate as they get closer. To be fair, we are probably at the range where our missiles run out of steam before they get here, so... Nothing to worry about, really. Yep, they run out of propulsion and they just float on for a while. I actually are getting quite close. Next one is probably gonna hit. Oh no, these might actually hit. Yes, there we go, we have impacts. Still 100%, still. There we go, getting some proper hits now. It's not doing much, but at least it feels good. When is the sinner's 
Oh, there we go. You were on fleet move. That was the problem. The Decina's luck wasn't opening fire at first, but we have managed to solve that. There we go. We are aiming for the engine. Because heat seekers. Makes perfect sense, but... Oh, he's, he's actually got a massive cram cannon at the... Oh, God. Um. That is not good. We are actively targeting friendlies with our missiles now. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh god, they just went under the boat. Come on, Sinus Luck! No, you idiots! Uh. Friendly fire is horrible. Come on, River Sinner's Luck. You're allowed to engage. So please do engage. Oh my god, that was a massive bloody hit. This will not suffice. We have to get in close. Once again, and actually build a good ship that can withstand some hits. Jesus Christ. Yeah, those missile boats are getting way too close. There goes the first one. We're probably gonna scrap them. They look good, but they are bloody useless. some of his engine power, possibly. That would be great. We're gonna need some better weapons at some point. There goes another missile boat, probably. Yep. Take out its ship control. Apparently, there's no AI on this one. Right, well, we know where the AI is from last time. We can use this conveniently shaped hole to get in. Just detonate the ammo once again. an easy path to check out the AI from below. It's almost routine by this point. But there we go, we have managed to take over another sector. Oh, God. <laughs> Got taken out by some late missiles, unfortunately. But we have get it, managed to capture two marauders. Some sectors on the map. And we died horribly a few times. And we lost some of our... Frankly, not bad looking, but terribly inefficient ships. We're gonna pull all out of play. We're gonna scrap these resources. Marauder is gonna go over here and get scrapped. We are gonna salvage those resources at some point. There we go. We're just gonna use some captured ships for the time being. Now, because we own these sectors, technically, the Deepwater Guard will occasionally send out patrols to get us. But we shall not stand for that. We will defend these territories, we will kick them out of the sea. 
out of the zones. And we will be victorious. I'll give you guys a move order. Come on. There we go. We're going to get started on some better ships at some point. That can actually do something. There we go. I think we're close enough to scrap you. Yep. Good. Wow, that's a lot of resources. We've got 193,000 natural resources in our fortress at the moment. And 150k metal. That is a lot. Wow, there's even more on that one. We can scrap that, right? Come on, fortress. Fine, I'll send you over if I have to. There we go, get back in the zone. Nice in the middle. There we go. 214,000 metal, 261,000 natural. Yeah, let's spawn the fortress back in, not the radar balloon. God, no. Warp to this force and play it. Why did these doors never... You know what? Quality of life improvements. Screw those doors. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of mostly fighting and losing our good-looking but terribly, sh terribly inefficient ships. We have got a lot more resources to play with, so I might build a more rigid boat next. And we can keep using the Atlas and Sinner's Luck, maybe combine them together in a single fleet for more badass butt kickery. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but oh well. And then we can kick the deep water guard out of the area and claim it as our own. But that has been it for this episode. If you've liked the episode, then please do leave a like down below. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, like any improvements I might be able to make to this series. I would be more than happy to get some suggestions. But until next time, have a good one, folks.